Cases of sick children keep climbing and filling hospitals across Nevada, but now there's an alert in the valley for supplies. Yeah, the Nevada Hospital Association says hospitals are struggling to get more beds for kids and cribs. There's a shortage nationwide. We've been fielding calls for probably the last month, month and a half from healthcare facilities around the country. Gumbo Medical LLC sells and refurbishes medical equipment. For pediatric, we had a customer that bought every one of these and these are actually being shipped to uh, Georgia. Every single pediatric bed and crib in their Las Vegas Valley warehouse has been sold. Calls have come from hospitals as far as New York. The Nevada Hospital Association states Wednesday in their report, supplies in Southern Nevada have been elevated to an alert level as hospitals have requested assistance getting pediatric beds and cribs as they expand services to meet the rising demand. There's a recognized shortage of this equipment nationally. As soon as we can capture them, we bring them in, but demand is very high and typically a lot of that equipment is already sold before it even hits our door. Nationwide, bed and crib manufacturers have been recovering from the pandemic supply chain issues and are struggling to make beds fast enough. Hospital cribs can be very specialized with weight scales or special barriers to keep babies safe. As a parent, I'm currently concerned because there's currently no vaccine for the RSV. If children get really sick, they have to go to the hospital and hopefully there's enough beds there for healthcare professionals to treat children. Owner Cliff Galante says though shipments are coming in, the shortage in supply chain issues probably won't catch up until flu season's finally over.